thanks to the school band and the school choir. This evening's moderator is a former student of the Albino Lake Arch Comprehensive School, where she currently teaches physics and chemistry part-time. She holds a bachelor's degree in biological anthropology and a master's degree in public health. She's a former member of the Literary and the Beaten Society, and she believes that youth participation is paramount to the political process. She co-owns Boudoir and Platinum, Platinum Boutiques and manages Sand Island Restaurant. Ms. Connor is also a community organizer at heart. She's the current vice chair of the Blowing Point Youth Development Center Board of Directors. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome our moderator for this evening's proceedings, Ms. Simone Connor. Thank you, Mr. Hughes, for that welcome. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the District 4 Follow the Future debate. I would like to thank everyone for coming out to the Rodney MacArthur Ray Auditorium, and I would also like to thank those who are listening with us on Cool FM Radio. Tonight, we have with us Mr. Evan Gum, one of the candidates for District 4. Welcome, Mr. Evan Gum. Thank you. We also have with us members of our student panel. They include Ms. Michelle Romney, Mr. Gino Webster, Ms. Deanne Rogers, and Mr. Neil Gum. And Ms. Misha Richardson. Our timekeepers for tonight will be Mr. Doyle Hughes, accompanied by Ms. Nzinga Banks. <laughs> Mr. Gums, the format for tonight, you will be asked to direct all responses to me, the moderator. You will be granted a maximum of two minutes to give an opening statement. You will be granted a maximum of one minute to give a closing statement. You will be asked to adhere to the time limit specified for each question. You will be asked to refrain from personal attacks. You'll be asked to answer the questions as directly as possible. And you will be asked to address the moderator and the students respectfully. We will jump straight into tonight's proceedings with the first question. <laughs> 